Hey guys, it's Matt with Stout Sportsman coming back to you today with something a little bit different than uh, than I normally do. Um, what I got here is my 2011 Ford Edge. It's a uh, limited front wheel drive, and um, been experiencing a little bit of a exhaust leak this last few months. And I was on Amazon and found a fantastic deal, which I'll go over with you guys a little bit later. Uh, but it's for a Gibson Performance Exhaust. Uh, it's the aluminized model. But um, what I'm going to do first, do a couple of sound bites with the uh, stock exhaust, and then after I get the uh, install completed, I'll do uh, some so sound clips with the uh, with the Gibson exhaust down there. So stay tuned. There you go guys that is the stock exhaust and afterward the uh, Gibson exhaust that's the uh, dual outlet out the back aluminized uh, I believe the product number is 319630 uh, just to give you a little heads up on why I decided to go with that I've been kind of watching the Gibson exhaust on Amazon and a couple of the other sites and uh, <clears throat> normally Normally on Amazon and a couple other places, it's right around $430, $450 or so. And I was on Amazon, I think it was last Thursday, and I saw it for $228. That was with shipping. Um, so I bought it. Uh, it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, so I, so I you know, bought it on Amazon, paid for it. And the very next day, I went back on Amazon to look at it, and it was up to $430 and some change. So basically, uh, I got a steal, um, just a hair over $200 off, and um, what's today? Today's Tuesday, I got, the, I got the exhaust Monday afternoon, so I mean, you're talking about like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days later, it was delivered, and um, had a little incident yesterday while taking the old exhaust off, uh, rather than trying to uh, finagle the old exhaust hangers off, I just pulled out my angle grinder, and decided to uh, just cut the hangers off, which worked pretty well until I got to the one hanger. And I ended up, uh, the angle grinder kind of kicked back on me a little bit, and the guard must not have been in the right place, and I ended up cutting uh, cutting my finger just about down to the bone. So it was a little bloody. I had to stop for about half an hour to get that, that mess cleaned up, get my finger wrapped up, and then I came back out and finished off the, uh, the install. So basically when I was doing the install, <clears throat> I kind of uh, dry fitted everything and put the clamps on fairly loosely. And when I started the, the truck up for the first time, it sounded like I had some exhaust leaks to it, kind of right around the muffler area, kind of right under the seating area inside the truck. So basically what I did, I shut, shut her back off and crawled back underneath, undid all of my connection points, all the joints where the pipes come and get clamped together. And I took some Permatex, I believe it's a maximum temperature uh, formula that they have it's like a uh, it's like a goldish red color so I don't know if it has some copper or something in it but uh, it's good up to 700 degrees so I put that on last night finished that up probably 5 6 p.m. and uh, just let the let the truck sit so that could cure overnight uh, you're supposed to give about 24 hours I ended up giving it I don't know maybe 18 or so the exhaust to me sounds pretty good it's not quite the tone that I was looking for but um, it's a little louder than I thought, uh, just sitting at idle when you first start it up. But that's not a problem, really. I have two motorcycles sitting right here in the garage that are uh, <laughs> quite a bit quite a bit louder, so I can't really complain. But I do a lot of highway driving, so it concerns me a little bit that, uh, that it's going to drone a lot while, you know, doing 70, 75 miles per hour on the highway. But we will see in the upcoming days. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Matt with Stout Sportsman. I'm out.